This is. You don't know what I got. You don't know what I got. This is terrible. Uh, Chris told me about this album. It's a terrible covers album of the Beach Boys, and uh, you really got to hear this to believe it. I mean, let's see here. Surfsiders sing the Beach Boys songbook. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around. Wow. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, this isn't this quite ain't right. <laughs> That's the best part. That's funny. Is I get around. This is the kind of album you like to own for a laugh. Sounds like he couldn't think of what the word was or something like that. Oh uh, boy, this is a laugh. Bad Beach Boys. <laughs> uh -oh. Now I hear that Lou Reed is actually in the Surfsiders, and that explains a lot to me. I'm not a fan. Look, all of a sudden he's putting more bigger price on it. We found out Lou Reed was in this, so now he wants to put it on. Hold on, hold on. What's that for? How many times we gotta hear this, right? <laughs> it's like he's pausing between lyrics. This is an unbelievable, unbelievably bad Beach Boys copy album. I guess he's going to take this into the Velvet Underground, huh? He took... You see, Joe had 276 on this, and because there was interest in it, he looked it up on the internet, found out about Lou Reed, now he looks like he's gonna boost up the price. <laughs> oh man. Can you believe this? Chris is the one who told me about this record. Can you believe this? Best? Worst record I've ever heard. Now you're gonna pick this up today, right? Oh, I have to have it. But he's put he took the price tag off. You know whatever it costs. What you have to do is, you know, it's a rule that when you have a price tag on, that's the price. That's what it's marked. You don't change the price, but somebody's gonna buy it. Mm. I don't know when he picked it up yet, so
<laughs> well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Albums like this don't come along every day. Thank God.